Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to Watching Chickies. Now here on day 93 of our broadcast. And Watching Chickies is the daily live stream here on Reddit and then later on our YouTube channel called Watching Chickies about the lives and development of these three young chickens. And right before you, in black, we have the lovely Braveheart, who is an Ayan Samani chicken. Right behind her is our gray silky chicken named Stormy. And right here, in brown and gold, is our Onagadori chicken named Kagome. And all three of these guys make one happy little flock. And on this show, we just kind of watch the chickens as they go about their lives. They eat a bit, we give them a few pets, and they play around. It's just a nice time to kind of center yourself, to kind of watch the animals enjoying themselves, and just to relax a little bit. And all the while, uh, my kind of chat here with any of my viewers who uh, put some comments here, and ask any questions. And hello there, February Monster. Lovely as always to see you here on the broadcast. Little Stormy is enjoying the crumble right now. And later on, um, I will attempt to put one of his little head back tests yesterday. Ooh, Braveheart wants to try to take it right from my finger. I think she thinks it's food. And just to keep these sort of feathers out of Stormy's eyes. Now, I am not an expert at uh, putting these on, and he has actually managed to take them off a couple times, so we'll see if I can manage today. Oh, sir, it is lovely that you are having a great day today. We're having a nice day here as well. Ooh, Braveheart's kind of playing with the band. Oh dear, Braveheart, that's not food. That's not food, oh my. She seems to really like the blue color. Ooh, well, you're all very interested in that, but it is not food, guys. This is a headband. It's a headband. Oh, lovely. You saw the blue tinge to our Braveheart's feathers there. And hello there, Memento Mori. Well, the chickens seem ready and eager to play today. Uh, I have a little bit of yogurt over there ready for them after we're done with their weigh-in. I know you like the blue color. You like the blue color. Oh my, oh my, oh my. You're just tracking it and tracking it. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. It's not yours. Where, where, oh, there it is. Oh my. And, um, Imono, uh, 360, thank you for the wholesome award there. Um, so, this show is just us kind of watching the chickies as they go about their daily behavior. Oh, they all seem to like Stormy's little headband here. And we're going to try to put it on Stormy in a bit, just to keep his feathers out of his eyes. There we go, there we go, guys. And Braveheart could use a blue bow tie. I wonder, how does this blue look against Braveheart? Oh my, oh my, you're all trying to get this. Kagome is just complaining to me that I'm not giving her the little blue circle. And while all of these guys are now 93 days old, so they're a bit older than three months. Um, in another three months, they shall be about full size, and we shall start to see a few eggs. So, uh, one of our daily tasks here is just to give the chickies a bit of a weigh-in each day to keep track of them and to make sure that they are all growing to be big. Oh, and hello there, Vanellis. Lovely to see you. So let's do the little chickies weigh-in. We're going to probably get a few protests from them, but then they're going to get a bunch of lovely yogurt in exchange. And just to, as a reminder to any of our new viewers, um, these chickies are members of our family and friends for life, so um, we are never going to be eating them. This weigh-in is only for sort of health purposes. 
just making sure that they are feeling all right. Oh, wow, and how I positioned that makes it look like it's a product that I'm sponsoring. It is not. That's just some of their crumble. There we go. There we go. Though I wouldn't be against, you know, doing that as a sponsor since the, the crumble has worked so well for all of them. Let's see. Kagome, you're our fussiest girl with the longest tail here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's put you down for a sec. And you are 692 grams. So you went up by two grams. That's all right. That's a good little increase. Oh my. And as we can see, Kagome does like to fly around when she can. Already, even though we had her flight feathers clipped, she is starting to get some more height there. Oh dear, Kagome. Oh dear. Full of your little honking complaints today. All right, guys. All right. Let's get help. I got you, Braveheart. I got you. There you go. There you go, my lovely girl. 820 grams. Wait, 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 you... No, you weren't moving. Hold on, hold on, you need to be still. You need to be still. Look, there's yogurt right in front of you. Look. Oh, oh my. Chicken on the run. She just left right off of the plate. Oh dear, come here, my little one, come here. Such full of complaints today. Come on, come on. What's got you so spooked? Oh dear, oh dear. Let's try this one more time, and I'm gonna try to give you some yogurt as well, just to calm you down. Look, 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 look. No, don't want yogurt? Wow, she is a fussy girl today. Well, I'm gonna be trying to weigh our Braveheart later. Oh dear, oh dear, Braveheart. You stepped right in the yogurt and it's all on your feet. And now I see you notice and you're actually eating it. Such a silly bird. Well, we can see about chickens getting spooked sometimes. And it can even happen when you're trying to be calm with them. There we go. <laughs> and we hear even our little Stormy there giving a few clucks. Oh, Stormy. Well, Stormy today is 590 grams, which is a 14 gram increase. Oh my, oh my. Oh, and I see we have a lot of new viewers now. Well, we, we are in the middle of the chicken's weigh-in. And the weigh-in is one of our daily tasks here, in which we track the little chicken's growth. And you blew around so much there that you actually knocked this connecting piece off. Oh my. Yeah, I have to put it back there, kid, don't I? Because you guys are heavier birds now. All right, we're gonna give Braveheart one more shot. One more shot for Braveheart. There you go, there you go, my lovely girl. And you are 830 grams, which is the same as yesterday. There you go, 830 grams. So little chickens can sometimes be a little bit fussy, as we can see here, which can lead to a few bits of squawking. Oh my. Sorry guys, I was away from the camera, just doing all the weigh-ins. So lovely to see you all today. Uh, this is Watching Chickies, the daily live stream here on Reddit, and then later YouTube about the lives and development of these three young chickens. Um, and MJ2005-13, thank you for the Wholesome Award. And now that we did their weigh-in, it's time for a treat, and this is some unsweetened yogurt for them. 
which is one of their favorite little treats there. We can't give them um, yogurt every day because it can bother their stomachs, but a little bit of yogurt every few days can be a nice healthy treat that helps their little gut bacteria there. There we go, guys. There we go. I'm just gonna move some things around so I can get a little bit closer there. Hello, guys. Hello. Oh, and Son of Gula, thank you for the this award there. And as we can see, they are just really enjoying that. Kagame has given herself a bit of a yogurt beak there. Oh my, oh my. And we can see they're smart enough to uh, wipe their beaks off right there on the blanket when they get a bit messy. Oh, and Rose Hearth, well, thank you for the gold award there. Uh, Volvo Commander, well, yogurt can be a good little treat for chickens. Uh, these chickens do eat a bunch of bugs when they go outside to their outdoor coop. Um, they spend most of their days outdoors, actually. And uh, Yorn Scald, thank you for the this award there. Lovely, lovely. Oh, and Lady Alunara23, thank you for the heartwarming award. And um, yeah, their names right here. Oh, and Rosehur, thank you for the this award. And Squanch to meet you, thank you for the excited award. And right here in black, we have our lovely Ayam Samani Hen, named Braveheart. Over there in brown and gold, we have our Onagadori chicken, and the Onagadori is an endangered breed of chicken from Japan. They're well known for their tail feathers, which never molt, being about 20 feet in length, or um, about six meters. And then over here in gray, we have our silky chicken named Stormy, and Stormy loves yogurt. There we go. And uh, Valian, 6969, thank you for the hugs. Exet 17, thank you for the wholesome. And Lavi Tavi, thank you for the Faith in Humanity Restored Award. Very much appreciated. And um, they are inside for this play area um, for the purpose of these broadcasts. Oh, Kagome, Kagome, what is all the complaining about? Oh dear. Can I show you this? Thank you for the heartwarming. And all of these chickens do spend the majority of their days outside in their outdoor coop. Uh, we bring them in here just for the broadcasts and for uh, sleeping because there are a bunch of predators outside and we want to make sure they're nice and safe while they're still growing up. And um, what we have here is some unsweetened um, whole milk uh, Greek yogurt right there. And Kagome is a fussy little girl. Uh, they can respond to their names at times. Uh, we have uh, three chickens at the moment. And uh, yeah, that's the size of our little flock now. There we go, there we go. Um, our little Stormy here is our rooster. Kagome there is a hen, and Braveheart here is a hen. Oh, and lost note, 6621888, thank you for the hooks there. And Volvo Commander, yes, we've had um, a bunch of friends, um, especially in this area, that have raised chickens. And unfortunately, um, predators in our area are pretty good about getting into coops. So as a compromise, you know, we've been putting our chickens inside. And as a result, they've been safe. They've been growing up nice and strong. Um, Messmaker43, uh, they will be going outside. Um, right after we are done with today's broadcast. And then we um, tend to bring them in right when twilight hits. Oh, hello there, Braveheart. And it looks like Braveheart just wanted to have a little bit of a cuddle here and to wipe her beak off on my jeans. Oh my, Time Lord times two. Thank you for the this award. Oh, hello, Kagome, hello. There we go. 
Um, yeah, we, we pet the chickens and we play with them. Uh, Kagome here kind of prefers to be on my shoulder most of the time. She's a complaining little chicken. She's gonna find her um, really nice spot here. Oh, there you go, there you go. Uh, Kagome is now three months old and her tail is now about a foot long. There you go, there you go, little girl. And she's just kind of singing to us. Uh, but now she kind of uses a trumpet more. Oh, and uh, um, a question there, um, Lady Lunara, 23. Um, a perfect chicken for beginners who are interested in getting involved um, are silky chickens. And thank you for the hugs there, Doomfish42. Uh, silky chickens are a uh, smaller chicken. are covered in these silky, soft, uh, fur-like feathers. Um, they are very mellow little chickens. Um, they can't really fly because of the shape of their feathers. Um, they can own this. And they're also very good about raising eggs as well. Um, we do have to deal with bird poop. Um, I do occasionally get um, pooped on myself, but you know, that's part of the job when you are getting a bird and they are being your pet. Um, uh, Maracuja, uh, Socrado, thank you for the hugs award. Um, all of these guys are 91 days old now. There we go, there we go. And don't worry about any, so use the broom, we use a mop about twice a day. And things, as a result, are kept pretty clean in here. And uh, Toady Pixel, thank you for the wholesome seal of approval. And Rick HD, thank you for the uh, award. Uh, we don't have any eggs yet, but that's become sold. Uh, once they get to that age, they will start um, laying some eggs. There we go. And none of these chickens are for meat. All of these chickens are members of our family. And friends for life. And Merrick, um, 898, thank you for the this award. And MSC Reloaded, thank you for the hugs. There we go. And uh, Braveheart is quite happy here, just on my knee, getting a few pets. Lovely, lovely. And um, Loud Pack Pines, uh, this is, you know, pretty much a hobby at this point. I'm a professional um, background actor. There we go, there we go. And yes, I do um, wash my hands after handling the chickens and after cleaning up after them. That's an important thing to do, and these days we should all be quite um, aware of how to wash our hands. There we go, there we go, guys. And um, we've been streaming these guys every single... So this is day 93. Uh, we've collected all of these on our... Um, channel called Watching Chickies on YouTube, and there's a link in our profile to that, our Instagram and Patreon, if you guys, you know, really feel like you enjoy this content. Um, these chickens should probably be living for about 12 years, um, hopefully more, as long as they are happy and healthy years. Uh, they're all three months old now, 93 days, and they all been with us every single day of their lives, and they've all been together. Oh, and Advanced Lazy Ace, thank you for the excited award, and Mag Triple Seven Eight Ninety, thank you for the helpful, and SW, thank you for the helpful award. There we go, there we go. Oh, well, they are all doing quite well now. Lovely, lovely. Um, right here in front of you. Oh, and Wally, thank you for the Hugs Award. And Shadowhunter44, thank you for the Wholesome Award. Um, right here um, is Braveheart, our Ayam Samani chicken. Down there, just kind of looking in the corner for some reason is our little silky rooster 
named Stormy. And right on my shoulder is our Kagome, who's been busily kind of preening her feathers. And uh, Markusha, thank you for the gold award there and saying lovely chicks. And um, yeah, we're going to try to give them um, a lovely life here with us. Um, I'm not sure if we'll keep the stream going for 12 years. That would be quite an interesting thing if we could manage that. Maybe Earth if we keep doing this every day. And how is that? 16, thank you for the wholesome award there. There we go. And Teapot Lesbian, thank you for the wholesome award. Um, Munib Dilshad, thank you for the hugs. King Dan Juan, thank you for the hugs. Boomstick, one, two, three, four, thank you for the hugs. Dr. Zach, thank you for the hugs. Oh my, so many hugs. And a scam cake, thank you for the heartwarming. And our little Stormy has been kind of just wandering next to the food right now. Um, we'll give him a little bit of a cuddle next. And um, no, um, Kagome's um, little feet don't um, hurt my shoulder. Um, you know, they've definitely gotten bigger these days, but they don't really dig into my flesh at all. Um, a cuked child, thank you for the hugs award there. And all of these guys are members of our family and friends for life, so they shall never be eaten. And we can try to put, um, one of Stormy's headbands on. Um, he kind of shook his head earlier and took his headband off. So I can attempt to put one back on. Um, you know, the little uh, um, head um, can sometimes bother his eyes, so having a little headband on can help just keep all of that away. Um, I'm gonna let him enjoy his food for a while here because he seems to be eating nicely. Uh, Braveheart is just doing a bit of preening. Preening is kind of a full-time job when you have this many feathers. Good for all of that. Oh, lovely tail wag there. And it's Chicken 8. Well, thank you for the Hugs Award there. And Twinkle Waffle, thank you for the Excited Award. And watching Chicken live stream here on Reddit, then later YouTube, about the lives and development of these three young chickens. Chickens do their thing, we chat a bit, and we just try to have a nice, relaxed time. There we go, there we go. And we did, we got these guys um, the day after they hatched. So since then, they've been with us every single day. And they are lovely little members of our family, and they're quite comfortable around us. There we go. There we go, little Kagome. And you know, in a few months, we'll have to decide whether or not we want to start clipping uh, Kagome's tail feathers. They're about a foot long now, but we might expect a few more feet of development there. And look a goose. Well, thank you for the this. There we go. There we go. And she's having a good time, just kind of preening all her feathers. You see that she has incredible mobility there with her neck. She's able to kind of spin it almost completely around to um, preen her feathers to clean up after themselves. Um, they're quite cleanly animals, almost like um, cats in, in that way. They're constantly doing this preening, um, which can clean their feathers. They use it to pull out feathers. Um, and they can also use it to get rid of any dead or dyed, uh, dried skin. And Kagome is an Inuyasha character who was one of the... One of my partner Lauren's favorite anime characters from is an Onagodori, which is an endangered Japanese breed. We, um, you know, really thought it suited her. And I raised these chickens with my partner Lauren. And, you know, they are little delights there. And she does kind of sometimes like looking at the camera. And then it's almost as if she's looking at her feathers and just seeing which ones are out of alignment. And they do spend um, a lot of time outside in the yard. They've seen a lot more um, like little local birds 
Uh, thankfully, you know, we have a fence and everything. Their coop is pretty secure, because I'm, but it didn't get too close. There we go. And uh, the cats really, uh, the not the cats, the um, chickens really kind of take care of themselves cleaning wise. They preen a lot, and then they do have sand baths later. Uh, we use some um, cleaned beach sand for them. We make sure that it's uh, pretty much dust free. And they just kind of fluff up their bodies and they kind of, um, th uh, the sand, and then they kind of just keep preening themselves. Uh, Mr. Breezy, yes, we do occasionally have um, the chickens poop on me, but you know, it's one of those things that you sign up for when you are a, a bird owner there. You just have to be prepared for that and you just clean up afterwards. It's no big deal. Uh, most of the chicken's um, waste is pretty solid, so it's not very hard to clean up. Poop happens and you just have to get used to it. Um, and as a result of us cleaning uh, in here twice a day and the fact that they live outside most of the time, uh, the house smells perfectly fine. You just, you just need to make sure that you're up to doing the maintenance when you have chickens living in an, um, an inside area for periods of time. Um, and if you're not up to the maintenance, then you probably shouldn't have them inside. Um, these guys are only inside for purposes of the broadcasts and for sleeping time. Um, uh, flailing uterus, do you feed them food scraps? Um, we occasionally can <laughs> feed them a few food scraps. We just make sure to do a bit, a bit of research each time to make sure that any of the food, that the food is actually um, healthy and safe for the chickens to eat. Uh, one thing that um, is pretty common in food these days is garlic. And if chickens have a bit too much garlic, that can actually cause them a blood disorder. Um, caffeine, too much caffeine or sugar can also be very bad for your chicken. So it's always um, useful <laughs> to kind of pay attention to what you are giving them. Because they're little omnivores, they'll pretty much eat anything. So you as an owner have to be quite careful. Uh, the chickens do um, snuggle up together um, at night. Uh, they live in, well, they, they sleep in these cubbies and they do have a nice outdoor coop um, that they spend the majority of their days in. Um, the uh, coop, you can see it on our YouTube channel called Watching Chickies. We did manage to do a couple streams, even though our internet's bad outside, um, showing off our coop, so you can always take a look at it there. Um, right here on my shoulder is Kagome, our breed from Japan. Over here is Braveheart, who I think might jump, off, jump onto my knee. And the Yamsamani has this um, black coloration that goes all the way down, through the way down to their bones and they come from Southeast Asia. And right there in the corner is our little rooster named Stormy. And Stormy is a silky chicken. They originally come from China and they were first bred around 2000 years ago. And yes, uh, Chaco Pawa right here. And the, yeah, we can pick them up. We can give them lots of pets. We've been picking them up, so they are very, very friendly. And the Hiak, thank you for the wholesome award there. There we go. Oh, lovely, lovely. Oh, and wish it would rain in um, AUS. Uh, you have a bunch of chickens. They're inside and outside birds, and you've had them for 50 years. Oh, my. That is so lovely. And they all do have um, individual little personalities and you've always loved the way they chat to you if they know you love them. Oh, that's brilliant. That's lovely there. And I do love chatting to my little chickens here. And all of these guys are doing quick um, stormies, mostly being interested in just getting a little bit more food to eat. Um, 
can we see your face? There you go. You can see my face. I'm not hiding it. Um, I'm a professional background actor. So, you know, even if you might not have noticed me before, you might have seen me on TV. And Vader66, thank you for the wholesome award there. Much appreciated. And we do like to have a nice relaxing time here. People have called me the Bob Ross of Chickens. And, you know, it's a nice way to spend a few minutes each day just enjoying each other's company, to watch a few chickens, have a nice time, and have just a little nice chat. People um, asking questions, just chatting. It's lovely. Oh, and Midnight Blue 43, thank you for the Faith in Humanity Restored Award. And hello there, Zamji. And Memento Mori, well, thank you for that Platinum Award. Very much appreciated. Oh, there you go. There you go. And uh, yes, um, Braveheart over here is um, just cleaning up, up herself by doing a bit of preening. She's quite meticulous about it, like Kagome is. Oh, and the court player. Thank you for the excited award there. Oh, hello. You want to come over here, Braveheart? Yeah, you can. Come on. She's gotten a bit bigger recently, so she's a bit careful when she gets on my... There you go. There you go, girl. Yes, you can get some pets. You can get some pets. Oh, and Luna, lovely to see you. Um, we have given them a bit of yogurt, but you know, they haven't actually eaten too much. I think they were a bit full, but they will definitely try to eat a bit more a bit later. Um, so they all have different personalities. Um, our little Braveheart here is usually quite quiet. Uh, pets, she'll often jump on to my knee to get a few pets. Um, Stormy is just chill. He'll pretty much stand anywhere, and he'll just zone out for a while if you let him. Um, and over here on my shoulder, Kagome is a little bit more high maintenance. Uh, she can honk around for quite a bit, um, flap around a lot. But once she's on my shoulder, she can just kind of calm down. She does a bit of preening, and she feels a little bit better. And V3 um, ZS, thank you for the helpful award there. And um, we just have these chickens. These are our uh, first chickens of our family. We've had um, other family members, like my uncle, that have raised chickens before. We've had friends that have raised chickens. And it's always been something I've wanted to do. So I've been raising these guys for the past 93 days with my partner, Lauren. And we just have these three at the moment. Our Onagadori on my shoulder, named Kagome. Our Ayam Samani, right here on my knee, named Braveheart. And, well, our little clueless chicken down there, Stormy, who's just kind of standing next to the food and thinking deep thoughts. Um, so both Kagome and Braveheart can both fly short distances, which is one of the reasons why we uh, clipped their flight feathers. Um, our little Stormy here, our silky chicken, uh, can't fly because of his breed. There we go, there we go. Oh, lovely. Oh, and Shouta, um, Angsawa, Ang well, thank you for the compliment there. I'm glad you do like the narration for these episodes. And Kagome's um, talons don't hurt my shoulder or really scratch me ever. And um, NS Nandan, thank you for the helpful award there. And standard document, thank you for the hugs. There you go. Well, I'm going to go see about picking up Stormy soon because we haven't really given him a cuddle yet. And that feels like it's not all that much fair. Okay, go on. Go on. Come on. I know you don't want to leave my... Go on. Come on. And Rick 16 thank you for the Hugs Award. Uh, JLGD. Um, the sand baths work by the um, birds kind of jumping into their little sand container there. 
they dig themselves in and they start to just fluff up their feathers when they go inside. And then they spread the sand around. And uh, maybe Stormy was sleeping with his eyes open right there. Oh dear, oh dear. And I got our little Stormy here. Oh my, oh my. And here he is, our little rooster for a few cuddles. Hello there, my little man. And Stormy here is probably going to be the future uh, father to any of the little chicks that we have in the future. And Canker Tumor, thank you for the rocket link. And Mr. Cheese Tiger, thank you for the excited. And, you know, the chickens aren't all that messy. Uh, they do poop a bit, but we are used to cleaning that up by now. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, and wish it would rain us. Uh, one of your best buddies when you, was, when you were little had a brown hen called Little Diddy. And uh, you and her would hang out always. She was like a pup. And you would walk the path to school to the school bus. And she would run after me, grumping all the way. Oh, well, that's a lovely story there. And I clean bongs. Thank you for the helpful award. And I smoke quack. Thank you for the wholesome award there. Uh, Stormy here is a silky chicken. And you can kind of recognize the silky breed from this uh, fur-like feathers that he has. Hello there, Braveheart. Hello. And they also have these fuzzy sort of inbuilt trousers as well. Oh, and Braveheart came right back. And we see Stormy kind of raise his head to the full height, trying to show that he's a big, strong, little rooster there. And Sam, thank you for the rocket link. And Wikidemic, thank you for the Take My Energy Award. Condor Spread, thank you for the Excited Award. One Crazy Russian, thank you for the hugs. And Chris Mock, thank you for the Excited. And, um... You can definitely train chickens to do things. There we go, there we go. Um, so far we've just raised uh, chickens. We haven't raised any other birds. We uh, did a few months research before getting these guys. We had advice from friends and family. And so far they are doing quite well. Uh, we've even had them visit the vet who gave them all a clean bill of health and that they were growing um, all quite well. There we go, Stormy. There we go. And I'm just trying to get some of this, some of these uh, feathers out of his eyes. Um, silkies can sometimes be a bit like sheep dogs, where their hair really gets into their eyes and that can affect their vision. Um, one of the things that I've gotten recently are some little um, hair ties here to try to keep. Uh, Stormy's feathers in check. I'll try to see right now if I can try to put one on one-handed. It might be a little bit difficult. Oh dear. Well, let's try, Stormy. Let's try, okay? Let's try. No, oh, yeah, he's fussing. No, nope, I am not very good at doing this one-handed. Oh dear, oh dear. And I could also trim his feathers as well to keep them out of his eyes. But, you know, um, a little way for him to keep some of his... Oh! Well, that can work for... Oh! And I guess Braveheart did not like the headband there. Oh my. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, these guys came from a place called Feather Lover Farms in California. Um, they specialize in some of these more unusual breeds that you don't really see much here in the U.S. Oh, there you go. There you go. Braveheart did not approve of that headband. Oh my, oh my. Well, I guess she was critiquing Stormy's little fashion sense there. <laughs> oh my. There we go, there we go, guys. Well, we'll try to do that again later. Um, 
Hex, Hex, Din HD. Um, they don't really smell like much of anything. They keep pretty clean, so like dirty animals. Um, you know, as an owner, it's just your responsibility to um, upkeep after them, which includes cleaning up after them. So if you have someone who doesn't clean up after their poop and they have a bunch of chickens, one who does clean up, then they won't really smell like anything. And Sugar North, thank you for the This Award there. Uh, Sammy Sam 26, they do indeed poop on the blanket, and as a result, we do um, put the blankets in the wash. We just do a special load, eh? And we can walk around with the chickens on our shoulders. Mariettas, 89, thank you for the wholesome award there. And all of these guys are actually the same age. Um, Stormy is 93 days old, just like the other chickens. When he's full grown, he should be about three to four pounds. Uh, Kagome on my shoulder here should be about um, four to five pounds. And um, Braveheart here should be about five to six pounds when they're fully grown. And um, E. Um, Papa Fa, thank you for the wholesome award. And uh, Melodious X, thank you for the helpful award. There we go. And um, Darbastian, um, right here is a silky chicken, not a Polish chicken. And he does like getting his little hair styled into a mohawk like this. He could be quite calm. And he does just like kind of chilling out here on my lap. And all of these birds are members of our family and friends for life, so they shall never be eaten. We want them to live long, happy, and healthy lives, as long as I have anything to say about it. There we go. And John left 41. Well, thank you for the heartwarming award. And one true pineapple. Stormy needs some chicken hair gel. I'm not sure if they have such a thing. I could always give that a bit of a research. Ooh. And it looks like Braveheart wants to help. Styling Stormy. Excellent award. That is a lovely looking award there. And Nun Yabu, thank you for the heartwarming award. And Bent Straw, thank you for the whole, for the wholesome award there. There we go, my sleepy little silky, yeah. You're my little rooster there. The future father of any little chicks that we have. So all of them will be hybrid chickens in the future that will be half silky. There we go, there we go. And if you found that you enjoy these broadcasts, we have a YouTube channel called Watching Chickies, and there's a link to that on our profile page. We've collected all of these streams there, so that's quite a few hours of watching, and we do have a few other bonus videos there. There we go. Oh, and Sugar North, well, I'm glad you are enjoying today's stream. It's lovely just to have a chat with a few people, to have a nice bit of calm, in a world that might some otherwise seem a bit overwhelming. I'll just focus on something nice. And a tender one. Um, getting some hybrid chickens. That could be anywhere from like four to six to eight months from now. It's just when the chickens start laying and then whenever Stormy starts kind of fertilizing those eggs. Uh, Fung's award. Uh, Darbastian, um, all of these chickens had vaccinations for Marek's disease, which is a, uh, disease that affects a chicken's respiratory system. Um, it is unfortunately a disease that's kind of worldwide for chickens. There, that comes off of chickens when they preen. And for very young chickens, it can be quite deadly, which is why it's always good to vaccinate your chickens. And Kagome is indeed still on my shoulder. 
Um, Shivers, thank you for the Take My Energy Award there. She's right here, just kind of busily um, preening her feathers and making sure she looks nice. And Sir Pimpy McSwaggins, thank you for the wholesome award. And future... Oh. Um, generally speaking, these are pretty quiet birds. They're um, pretty happy most of the time. Um, they're a little bit more noisy when I take them um, outside because we get a lot of little in my ear as I'm carrying them out. Uh, both uh, Kagome and Braveheart can be a little bit scared of the outside, and they let me know they'd rather be inside. But, you know, I think it's important for them to have that sunshine, for them to have that open air, and for them to eat a few bugs and just, you know, see everything out there. And Avatar The Last Airbender was a brilliant show. Brilliant show. There we go. And Kagome does have quite a lot of nice feathers there. You know, it's just been a joy watching the Onigadori grow up. You know, you don't see many female Onigadoris on the internet. It's usually just the males. Um, these guys should be living for at least um, 12 years. I'm going to be taking very good care of them. And I want them to live long, happy, and healthy lives. And she feels quite comfortable on my shoulder. She likes to use it as like a little preening place. And then eventually she'll kind of just snuggle up next to my face when she's done with all of that. And it kind of just sounds like paper doing that. And we can see that our little Stormy is just content just to sit here kind of watching on as we go about the show. Hello, our little one. Hello. There we go. There we go. And, you know, 12 years for a chicken, you know, can sound a lot if you compare it to a few other animals. Then when you compare it to something like, um, like a parrot, which can live 80 years, it's not all that much time. It would be lovely if you could live for 80 years there, my little Stormy. Um, their little nails aren't really all that sharp. I can occasionally get um, a little scratch if they flail about. But other than that, no, I don't even think I have any scratches to show. Um, other than that, you know, they're very careful and they try not to hurt me. There you go. Um, occasionally, they um, can have a little argument, but that's usually just a few squawks, and then they're basically done with that. They all get along pretty well these days. Um, yes, um, both Kagome and Braveheart had their flight feathers clipped, and that's just to make sure they don't fly over a fence when they're outside, they don't try to fly on top of the roof, or just fly into a, um, a few low branches of a tree. Because that would make it a lot harder to bring them in at the end of the day. Maybe I can show your flight feathers. Would you, would you let me sh show them there? Let's see. Oh. Let's see. Can I, can I t put up your wing there? Oh no, she's not feeling up to that. Um, well, I'm not sure if chickens have nightmares or dreams, really. Um, I do know that when these guys sleep at night, they all kind of cuddle up together. Um, they usually cuddle up together here on the um, top of their sort of cubbies <laughs> in one little pile. They don't need to do that because they have a whole bunch of cubbies here to choose from, but you know, that's what they enjoy. There we go, guys. There we go. Oh, and I think Stormy was moving on to preening his feet. This is a brilliant angle of his feet because you can see the silkies have a mutation which um, allow them to have five toes on each foot. Most chickens will only have four toes. So that's kind of a feature of the silky breed. 
along with their fuzzy little legs there. And uh, they do have um, roosting options both in their um, their outdoor coop and here. Um, often you'll see them on these little railings um, roost on top there. There we go. There we go. And they all feel quite comfortable just to all kind of preen right here on top of me, just kind of appreciating the company at the moment. And you'll often see this behavior. Oh, what is it, Kagome? Did you want to see yourself right here on the phone again? She sometimes appreciates looking at her own image while she preens. Um, we've given them a little bit of yogurt, but I think we'll give them a little bit more soon. Oh my, Kagome has so much chicken dandruff today. You can see she's been really preening away. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, another shirt to go into the laundry. Oh my, oh my. And all of these little chickens are members of our family and friends for life, and they shall not be eaten. There we go. All right, guys. Well, I think Storm... Oh, Stormy's doing a bit of scritching there. I think we can give you guys just some more yogurt soon. Braveheart. Braveheart. Yes. Okay, good. You actually looked up for a second there. I'd like to get up now for a second. Dad has been sitting down now for almost an hour. And I think it's time that I kind of stretch my legs. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, A.A. A. Paul, um, all of our chickens go out each and every day. Um, we bring them in around twilight. Um, and they sleep in here at night. Uh, we do that to keep them safe from local predators. There we go. Um, during the day, it's it's pretty safe for the chickens, so we don't have to worry about them. It's sort of twilight when you get, like, the foxes, you get the raccoons, and you get other animals coming out. Oh. And little Kagome went right for the yogurt. It's yogurt time, Stormy. It's yogurt time. There you go. See? Kagome's enjoying the yogurt. You gonna enjoy the yogurt too? I hear a few peeps. I know you do love yogurt usually, Stormy. You gonna check it out? Or are you gonna let Kagome have it all? Oh dear. A little sort of yogurt beak there. Oh, and there he goes. Stormy does love his yogurt. Oh, and so does Braveheart. They all remembered it was there. Um, JX Bird. Um, is it possible slash ethical to have a chicken in an apartment if you took them outside every day? Um, if you were to do that, um, here's the thing. Chickens are very social animals. Um, and I usually recommend to 